The death of one boy, Otieno Mbugwa, was one many anticipated would cause pain, disunity and confrontation. Instead, for the family of this 75-year-old veteran of Kenya's freedom fight, her death brought different tidings. We are not sure. It was an opportunity for two different clans. That of the Wayakis and the Umira Kager to mend their strained relations following years of disagreement that sparked off one of the longest standing family court battles in Kenya's history back in 1986. When we pray the Lord's Prayer, what do we say? May you, God, forgive us our trespasses as we forgive them, them those who trespass to us, isn't it? So if there was any, if there was any mistake done by any member of my community, uh, of, uh, of, uh, of, uh, of my family, may I say, this should be forgotten and forgotten for forever. And an opportunity for the family and leaders alike to hail Wamboi for the courageous and selfless woman she was throughout her life. Tumempatia dada yetu heshma ambayo anasahili kupatiwa. Wamboi wewe beba salamu zetu. Peleme kwa SM utieno. Peleme kwa jaramuri. Peleme kwa tombo ya. And so a family led their own to her final resting place as dictated by herself more than 20 years ago. A woman who will go down in history books as one who tirelessly fought for the rights of women, wives, Kenyans in what to her was the ultimate struggle for freedom. Going down painfully for the family that cherished her dearly, but honorably in the face of many who believe in the path of justice. The late Wamboyo Tieno Mbogwa's 75-year journey is one that has been filled with political, social and even medical challenges. But today, the path that leads to her final resting place is one that seeks to remember Wamboyi for who she was throughout that journey. A hero. Evelyn Wamboyi, Citizen TV, in Matasia, Ngong.